Okay. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there a long time now. It may be none of my business, but you don't think it would be a good idea if you took a rest break? Okay. You should find a place to stay in the nearest town. Okay. Dad, you kind of interrupted my... Never mind. Hey there, everybody. Chaos Controller here, and welcome back to Let's Play Through Earthbound. So, in the last episode, we were able to finally deal with Mr. Belch and got to the next sanctuary location. And now we just need to find a way to the desert. Out of my way, you freaking run, ran boob. Move it or lose it. <laughs> Clear out. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, after our papa called us, I guess. Oh my goodness. Good thing they're running from me. Look at all the enemies in here. Oh boy. Out of the way. I'm going to let them clear out of the door. Dag nabbit. Sheesh. There was like freaking seven enemies. It was actually affecting the frame rate. <laughs> anyway, uh, we need to find our way to the desert, and hopefully that won't be too much of a task. Because was there any other path that I missed? Because there wasn't any in the caves. I'm going to quickly stop at the, uh, wait, does Paula still have the, no, the mushroom's gone. Oh, because we found the sanctuary, I must have, okay, sweet. I'm just going to go to the doctor anyway. I guess I don't need the doctor, I just need to rest. So yeah, to the hotel, because this is the one where we can stay for free. <laughs> uh, yes, I want slumber. Thank you. Anyway, so I guess... Was there another path that I missed? Or do I just head back to three? Because I need to get to four side. And the runaway five went like... Like uh, to the east. Yeah, east of four. Uh, went east down th one of the roads in three to get there. So I guess that's where I'm going. Uh, Mr. Roach just... Get out of my way. All right. Really? Frickin' really? Really? <laughs> Come on. Um, pff, he did one HP of damage to me. Dagnabbit, don't miss him. Dagnabbit. Thank you, Will. Great. Now I need to friggin' heal up Paula. <laughs> I don't need this shit from a friggin' roach. All right. I better do that now, lest I regret it. There we go. <laughs> is there another roach in here? Yes, there is. Come at me. Just get out of the way. I've been dealing... Yeah, yeah, one HP. Oh, a bug bite. Fitting, I guess. It's a bug. <laughs> Did I miss every single one? Really? Hit him! Knitted its brow. Knitted its brow. What's that going to do? And my I solidified dag nabbit! Thank you. Yeah, I guess before it was mentioned that, like, the slingshot, like, or before, d uh, does a lot of damage, but doesn't hit very much. So I think that's like the normal thing. They like, um... Like all the ones that you hold, like a bat or something, slightly less damage than long distance attacks, but they hit more often, and vice versa. For the... vice versa for any long distance weapons. So yeah, maybe I'll go with a... Maybe I'll go with a bat once I, a uh, stronger bat once I get the chance. Because a lot of power doesn't really mean much if you can't hit the broad side of a barn. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I'm leveling up from these guys. <laughs> so I guess I'm still gonna have to deal with, like, armored frogs and whatnot when I leave the cave. Eh. Oh. Nope. Coastline's clear so far. I would be totally fine with that. 
Any up? Oh, there's a crocodilio and a frog. Beautiful. <laughs> I am so glad I found out that. I'm so glad I figured that trick out. <laughs> Just like leave the screen a little ways and come back <laughs> and hope that less of them spawn. <laughs> go one red antoid down and is attacking 7 HP to Paula to Paula Paula doesn't Paula's got like the second highest defense in the squad in the squad I guess it would be a squad all right there we go <laughs> So did the zombie paper thing clear out the... Oh boy, armored frog. Freaking... Uh, they're just annoying because I need to use Psy Power on them. Oh, butterfly! <laughs> Thank you. Magic butterfly, make your friends relax. Beautiful. Alright. Okay, let's hope the zombies and ghosts are easier to deal with. Oh boy. Like, this is really the only logical place I can think of, because I didn't see any other path, unless I'm just stupid, which could very well be. The place is freaking clear! Is that the random number generator being kind to me, or is it supposed to be clear? Alright, this is definitely not the random number generator. This thing is just... Nothing. Right, let's head up to three. Oh shit! Well then, this place seems to have uh, gotten a lot more chipper. Hello. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to three. Thanks, peace, love. All right. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? I won't forget you. Won't you come back to three sometime? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The buses can go through the tunnel now. Oh, sweet! So I freaking saved three... Was Master Belch the leader of the ghosts then? Whatever. But we've saved three. Does that mean the marionettes are all gone? I do believe so. Booyah! <laughs> Wait, is there a store here? Shop, down at the bottom. Sweet. Check if there's anything available in there. Mm -hmm. well, I feel quite happy. I've, I feel quite proud of myself. I've, I've saved an entire town. Uh, you got you got anything available? I'm pretty sure you sell all the weapons and whatnot. Hard hat. Okay, well, I can get him a hard hat, I think. Wait. Okay, so the hard hat's the only upgradable thing I can get here. So, but since I'm able to head to Foreside now, I might as well just go. And I'm able to take the bus to Foreside, so yay! <laughs> this should hopefully be quicker. But uh, I'm going to go up to the hotel, uh, ring up my sister, and drop some stuff off. <laughs> Dang nabbit, man! <laughs> Watch where y'all driving! <laughs> Almost got killed. <laughs> yeah. And so their journey ended. <laughs> okay, so how much money do I got in here right now? Because I remember I you I dropped a lot of money. Shows a balance of Never mind, I'm friggin' rich! <laughs> oh dang it no. <laughs> uh, okay. I hit A too much and just left. All right. Uh, I don't remember exactly how much it was to actually drop off items. I met. I think it was fairly cheap. I'll bring out a thousand dollars. All right. Booyah. Uh, check the phone. Picked up receiver. Uh, the Escargo Express. Hello, this is Escar. Oh, is that you, Chaos? Big bro. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for the Escargo Express. What do you want for... What do I... What can I do for you? Pick up. 
You want us to source something for you? We'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. Click. All right. Now I just head outside and wait. I guess just walk around for a bit. And almost eventually. There. Hello. Hello, this is the Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. Oh, it's only $18? Up to three, oh, up to three things. Okay, so there is a limit. All right, so the bicycle. Will there be anything else? Yes. Uh, the bicycle, the, oh, I have a spare hard hat for real. Okay, I didn't even notice that. And I still have the fly honey. I imagine it's not gonna be very useful to me anymore. So I'll store that. Fly honey. Jar fly honey, will there be anything else? Yes. Which do you want me to take? Anything else? No, everything. I don't think I need the pack of bubble gum. Oh, actually, I know I don't need the pack of bubble gum. Let me take the bicycle, the jar, fly honey, and the pack of bubble gum. Is this correct? Yes. All right, certainly. Thanks a lot. All right, so it's only $18 for three items. I can do with that. I thought it was like going to be. I remembered $18. I thought it was going to be like 18 per item, but oh well. Uh, so, equip. I guess I need to give him the, uh... No. No, don't talk goods. Give to... Will. Dang it. Uh, equip. And equip. There we go. All right. Now let's head to the bus stop and ah, friggin' A again. Sheesh. Almost ran me over again. No, don't talk to it. Check it. Check the bus schedule. It looks like the next bus will become pretty soon. And there she is. Boop. Hello. This bus goes to Foreside. Bam. I can't let you on if you don't pay $6 for fare. Do you want to go? Yes. Okay. We're off to Foreside. Okay. Let's hope it's not a long trip, eh? So, yeah. So far, I'm really liking this game. It's got like... Oh boy, dude, get off the road. You're going to get run over. It's got like, it's got some, it's got an interesting charm to it. Just like, <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, it's like, it's kind of like something that uh, a group of kids would imagine when they're like playing outside or something. And it's like, it's, it's interesting to say the least. Drugs. Oh boy. <laughs> uh oh. Man, it's bumper to bumper. My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. Oh dear, we're sweating. Oh dear. <laughs> Tag Nebit, so what's... What the frick? What's it? Nah. I heard that a little ways ahead. I, I heard a herd of buffaloes running across the road. I can't move an inch. A herd of buffalo. Oh boy. That would be quite intimidating, would it? Because buffalo are... They're... They're pretty hulking beasts. <laughs> like, I feel sorry for the guys behind me. But I'm just... But I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. I was going to see my girlfriend in Foresight. At this pace, I'll be a hundred years old by the time I get there. What about you, cool guy McGillicuddy? What about you? Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. <laughs> Cool. All right, so... Huh. Drugs. All right, let's go in here for some shelter, at least. You, sir. Hello there, how may I help you? Can I get you anything? A uh, Mr. Baseball Bat, I will take that. Thick frying pan, deluxe frying pan. They're not better? That's why I couldn't equip the coin deg nebit because they were the ones holding it. All right. Dang it. All right, so let's withdraw 3,000. Yeah, 3,000. Withdrawal. Yeah, I got I got the money for it. Boop, boop, boop. 
There we go. There we go. Now you, sir. I would like some equipment, if you could. A Mr. Baseball Bat. That would be me. Are you going to equip it here? Yes. 90 to 96. Would you like me to buy the bionic slingshot? Yes. Uh, anything else? Yes. What would you like to get? I'd like to buy something. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of those coins of flumber, please. That would be Paula. One for Paula. Uh, 52 to 57. Uh, yes. There you go. One red ribbon. I'd like to buy another coin of slumber. Uh, that would be for Huin. Mm -hmm. Things are looking my way. <laughs> Dang, that had a lot to his uh, uh, defense. I don't think there was anything else that could really upgrade me. What about you, sir? Hello there, how may I help you? Uh, wet towel. Oh, wet towel. Hmm. Yeah, he's... So, yeah. So, yeah, the guy in the... So, yeah, the, the redhead sells all the... Uh, all the equip items. Old man sells all the uh, one-use items. All right. So, am I able to? Hello, Mr. T. Shh! Don't talk too loud. What do you want? What? Did I just find the black market? <laughs> well, let's buy the zip gun. Who's gonna lug this around? Gonna want to equip it here, yeah. So will it be anything else? Yeah. I've got what you need. <laughs> this is literally the black market. <laughs> Alright, so let's buy a bomb and a bottle rocket. Because those... Who's gonna lug this around? Will. And... Uh, a bottle rocket. You know what, I think I, I got the cash, so I'll buy one more bomb, and then I'll sell the old, uh... And then I'll sell his old, uh, Magnum air gun. Uh, yes, I would like, not buy. Sell. The, oh, nope. The Magnum air gun. Forget it, I don't want to buy that junk. Okay, fine. Sheesh. Junk? Like, what the frick? <laughs> this is a premium Magnum air gun. I'll sell it to him then. Not me. The Magnum air gun. Nobody wants to buy it? <sighs> Dang, nabbit. Guess I'll have to store it then. Eh, yeah, well, let's move forward. I guess since there's a mole that way, I go up this way. So I'm looking for... Wait, Bubble Monkey? Welcome. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Tala Rama is great and kind. And he knows everything Tala Rama does. He made us the underground rooms. Okay, cool. Can I? Can we use them? Oh dear. You got a mushroom man infestation down here? Oh, well, it's one mushroom man and he's running from me anyway. What the fr- Hello? <laughs> Every time I think I've seen everything in this game, it throws something else at me. Nothing? You're, you're, you're not- Okay. Talarama is now fasting and... Practicing silent meditation. He's also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly, too. Please don't bother him. Well, he's kind of in my way. You know, monkey man? Hmm? I, I, I think, I feel like I need to get through there. All right. Well, let's search the desert a little more, I guess. Uh, oh, frick, scorpion. <laughs> A Skelpian. <laughs> nice. Oh, I guess I could have spied on him. Decent damage to the Skelpian, I guess. Alright. 
At the very least, if that's the kind of enemies I have to worry about, exploring the desert won't be too, too difficult. Which we shall do in the next part. So yeah, I guess we're trying to find a way around this traffic jam into Foresight. So this ought to be interesting. But until then, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, this is Chaos Controller, signing off.